The beach is one of the most popular places for any families, friends, or people who simply wish to enjoy themselves for an afternoon. Yet on one Saturday in 1951, beachgoers who were attending Coney Island in New York would be in for a surprise when a 560 pound steel robot washed up on shore. Many beachgoers gave their own accounts and descriptions of the robot while making comments about its mysterious appearance. It was not long before reporters flocked to the beach to get a glimpse of the robot. The robot stood motionless on the ground, its body partially covered in sand, when suddenly, to everyone's astonishment, the robot stood up tall, its seven-foot stature towering over reporters. The robot's head moved from side to side as though it were scanning its surroundings. However, its face appeared too damaged to be of any practical use. A low sound was heard emanating from the robot, coming from speakers situated at the center of its chest. The sound stopped, and the robot spoke, announcing to the crowd, The robot was quickly transported away from the beach and held in a government facility for 97 hours. During that time, it underwent various tests and was interviewed by multiple government officials. The government was relieved to discover that it was not a weapon or a spy device of any kind sent by the Russians. However, when scientists and engineers opened the robot's head, it was discovered to be housing what appeared to be a human brain. The revelation answered the question regarding the robot's sentience, but created new questions that would most likely remain unanswered for the foreseeable future. The automaton was released after he was deemed to be not a threat by the United States government. Once released, the automaton saw great popularity from all around the United States. Every news agency, radio station, and television station wanted to get the scoop on this intelligent automaton. The automaton's popularity even stretched to other countries, such as Canada, Britain, Argentina, and many others. The automaton managed to maintain much of his popularity by appearing in many popular talk shows where he revealed information about himself, such as his name, Anton. One talk show appearance, however, stands above the rest, as the speech Anton gives has been touted as one of the most influential and inspiring speeches. The speech was given on The Tonight Show and went as follows. I would like to thank everyone for being so kind to me. Especially since I'm an outsider. You see, where I came from, my world was beautiful. My world was much like your own. It had similar resources, similar life, similar structure. But your world is still young. Mine was older, much older. My people used our resources and our intellect to advance our civilization far beyond what is comprehensible. We managed to create life and overcome mortality. When I see your people I see familiarity. I wish to help your society advance the correct way. You people have so much potential. To change, to innovate, to evolve. 
The great human race does not deserve to be held back by its mistakes, but rather elevated by its strengths. The people in power may not see your worth, but I do. I believe that together, we can build our own perfect. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 